in this video i am going to solve a question from may june 2019 paper 2 variant is 2 2 and the question is question number 1 a family visits a zoo in which adult is charged at dollar 26 a child is charged at dollar 15.50 where child age should be from 5 to 16 while a child under 5 is free Now on April 30, Mr. and Mrs. Fogio and their three children, age 12, 8, and 3, visit the zoo. Now they have asked you to find the total cost for the family. The cost for the adults, cost for the adults, where Mr. and Mrs. Fogio will be included. Now because adults are charged at $26 and there are two adults so 2 into 26 will give you $1.52 cost for child where they have the age of 12 and 8 they have basically three children two of them are age 12 and 8 and this age bracket falls between this age bracket which is to be charged at $1.15.50 so the child having age 12 and age 8 are charged at dollar 15.50 so because there are two childs in this age bracket so 15.50 plus 15.50 will give you dollar 31 whereas their third child is age 3 and children under 5 is absolutely they are absolutely free so the third child is free So the total cost can be obtained by adding this cost of fifty-two dollars for two adults and thirty-one dollars for the two kids falling in the age bracket of this. So the total cost is dollar eighty-three. Now in part B, they have they have asked us, they have told us that in May the cost for a child is not changed. Okay, the cost for child is not changed, while cost for an adult is reduced by p percent to. 22.10 no after reduction of p percent the new cost for the adult is dollar 22.10 initially cost for an adult was 26 dollars now we have to calculate the value of p no because in april the cost was 26 dollars now when you will subtract from 26 dollars p percent of 26 dollars because they have told us their cost is reduced by p percent so this is reduction by p percent p percent of what p percent of the cost in april in april the cost was 26 dollars so when you will subtract from 26 dollars p percent of 26 dollars you will get your new cost that is 22.10 now if you will take common from here 26 will be taken out as common over here here you we are left with 1 minus p percent is p over 100 percentage sign mean divide by 100 when you will remove percentage sign you will divide by 100 now this 26 will go on the right side and 22.10 will be divided by 26 you will get 0.85 dollars 1 dollar will move on the right side and 0.85 will be One uh, dollar will be subtracted from 0.85. You will get 0.15, and upon multiplication by this hundred, this hundred is being divided over here. When you will move it on the right side, it will be multiplied with the answer, which is 0.15 on the right side. So you will get 15 percent. Here you have a minus, and here you have a minus. So minus and minus are cancelled. So answer is 15. P is 15, 15 percent. And the last part here is. in may in may the family visits the zoo again now calculate the percentage reduction in the total cost from april to may now look the cost in may is for the adults for the adults the cost is 44.2 why 44.2 because in may the cost was reduced by p percent and after reduction for one adult cost is 22.10 so for two adults the cost will be 20 uh, 22.10 22.10 which is for one adult multiply by 2 will give you 44.2 this is cost for adults while 
कॉस्ट फॉर किड्स इज नॉट चेंज कॉस्ट फॉर किड्स इज डॉलर थर्टी वन सो थर्टी वन डॉलर प्लस थर्टी वन डॉलर प्लस फोर्टी फोर पॉइंट टू डॉलर विल गिव यू सेवेंटी फाइव पॉइंट टू डॉलर टोटल कॉस्ट फॉर द फैमिली इन मे तो वट इज द परसेंटेज रिडक्शन द परसेंट रिडक्शन इज द कॉस्ट इन अप्रैल माइनस कॉस्ट इन मे दैट इज चेंज इन द कॉस्ट डिवाइडेड बाई द ओरिजिनल कॉस्ट विच दैट वॉज इन अप्रैल दैट इज एट्टी थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाई हंड्रेड तो दिस विल गिव यू नाइन पॉइंट थ्री नाइन परसेंट सो दिस इज द सोल्यूशन फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन पार्ट ए एंड बी इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल अपलोड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एज वेल एज द रेस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट फॉर्म दिस थैंक यू सो मच